Hey folks, so there is a new comet out there. It just came in a few days ago. Today, as we are recording this, it is September 18th, 2025. This comet was discovered on September 11th, 2025. So let me show you uh, where this comet is. It's pretty interesting. So the name of the comet is C2025R2. A swan. This is the a comet, and we are tracking this right now. It is on the southwest region. So, particularly if you are in North America, you should be able to see this comet if you have visibility close to the western part of the sky. So, if you see the sun just setting right now, and if you let the sun set a little longer. And if you let it go, and you will see uh, this is moving uh, closer to the uh, closer towards the sun. And uh, let me, yeah. And then you will see the Mars coming over. And when you see that Mars coming over, uh, and let me zoom in for you. So this is like right below the Mars, okay? So let me zoom out. So this is on the western part of the sky in North America, mainly visible on maybe in the southern United States uh, because this is close to the southern hemisphere. So if you are in Australia or some other place, you should be able to take good pictures of this comet. Uh, but this is pretty close to the borderline. So in the evening time, just after the sunset, right before the Mars is coming in, if you have visibility to the horizon, you should be able to uh, see this comet. So this one, as I was telling you, was discovered September 11th, just a few days ago, September 11th, 2025. And this comet was close to the sun. So it was discovered by the SOHO, the uh, sun satellite system that we have called SWAN. Uh, this comet comes every 22,554 years. So it's a pretty long period comet. It's not going to come pretty often. It's very bright. That's the most important thing. Right now, it is at 6.9 magnitude. If you can see Mars with your eyes, but if you use a binoculars, you will see it better. So this one is slightly dimmer. So right below the Mars. But if you do have binoculars, you should be able to locate this comet. Worst case, you can also use your cell phone and take a picture, but you got to have clear view to the uh, southwest or western region of the sky where the sun is setting, right? And this is one of those comets that got in, discovered quickly and it got bright so quickly. This, we never had this comet before. We never knew this comet existed, and it showed up, and it got bright. I did try locating uh, this comet and trying to figure out where this comet is. This is backyard of my house. I use actually a drone to fly because I have trees obstructing uh, this. So I try to go up and see if I can locate the comet. So I went up the sky, and I was looking for Maybe I can locate this comet up there, right? The sun didn't set it, set it yet, so I do want it to see, but I have a whole bunch of clouds, so I could not get this comet out. This was done yesterday. Yeah, it's a pretty beautiful uh, view. Once if you go up on the drone, you should be able to see the horizon from the top. I did try locating the comet. This is the view from the southwest region. I tried to take a picture. You can see, very well. Uh, these are all clouds coming in. I took some long exposures, but I know like this is not a comet. This is a aeroplane that's flying, and it is. Um, you can see that. So there are a bunch of comets in the sky right now. I think the one that we are closely monitoring is the 3A Atlas. It is approaching Mars, uh, but it's interesting that we are seeing pretty close to the sun this new comet showing up 
which is very interesting that we were able to actually uh, locate it, take pictures of this comet. So this is the comet C2025 R2 Swan, the one I'm talking about. It's a beautiful picture. Uh, I'll give full credit to the person who took it. It's available on the internet. Here is the name of the person who took the picture. It's a team actually that took this picture. So if you do like this video, uh, press the like button, press the subscribe button. It will show you all the updates that I'm going to provide you on the comment. Thank you for watching.